And guys, Richard Holden, the Tory party chair, conducted probably one of the worst interviews I've ever seen by a senior politician, and I've witnessed quite a few. He was asked on three occasions about what many are calling a stitch-up to put him in a safe seat for the general election, which has infuriated Tory candidates in other constituencies. Holden's current seat has been dissolved, and a new one in its stead, but he's decided not to stand there, due to the risk of losing. So instead, he's crossed the country to a constituency which won a majority for the Conservatives of over 20,000 in 2019. Now, he was asked three times about this, and he kept trying to talk about the Labour Party. Here is the third time he was challenged, and his aides ended the interview. So you can't justify the way you have been uh, parachuted into uh, Basildon and Billericay. You're not denying it's a stitch-up and it's anti-democratic. Uh, Emily Thornbury today has admitted... I'm going to stop you now. This is ridiculous. This, this is ridiculous. You said in an interview earlier this year you were bloody loyal to the North East. What happened to that? John, uh, I've already answered these questions. No, you haven't. Uh, it, actually, I have. When? Uh, when I did a Channel 4 News interview uh, last week. Oh, right. It's one broadcaster, isn't it? This is a pool interview for all the other John, broadcasters. I think these, these broadcasters agreed that the question is... No, nobody agreed that at all. all well, I've got a list here for, of questions from other broadcasters. All three broadcasters agreed. Everyone on this Nobody's board agreed. agreed. No, they absolutely did. not. We no, can, absolutely not. The proof. <laughs> this they all agreed this. Well, if that's where it's going to go, then we'll, we'll just leave, because that's not what we agreed to come here today to discuss. Well, I kept trying, um, and uh, Richard Holden there, not his finest hour... No, it's not his finest hour. And hopefully it will be close to the end and Richard Holden will lose his seat, the new seat, the protected seat, the safe seat. Now, this is an absolute charade. You have a Tory, the Tory leader. It would be extremely embarrassing, of course, for the Conservative Party, for the Tory chair to lose his seat. So, of course, he was sent to a safe seat. Now, this, of course, has not gone down very well within the Conservative Party itself because there are candidates who are, you know, looking on and seeing the Conservative Party implode. They're clinging on to whatever hope they can to hold on to their seat. And they're watching Rishi Sunak engage in gaff after gaff after disaster after disaster. And it's coming back on them. Now, the response from some of them is to run as local Conservatives... So they're changing the name. Some of them are pumping out material which doesn't use the conservative colors or logo or anything. Some, many of them have ditched conservative from their uh, social media uh, handles. And they're trying to distance themselves as much as possible from the leadership, Rishi Sunak, and the party itself. But it's not going to save them. You know, they're known in their constituencies. And they're going to they're going to get blamed. Whether some of them are good, whether some of them have worked hard, it doesn't really make any difference. The public want change. But some of them, of course, in positions of power within the party, are trying to protect themselves at the expense of others. So Richard Holden there, refusing to actually answer the question and trying to f redirect the conversation onto the Labour Party. He was on there about... Uh, Emily Thornbury, and she, he was talking about uh, the, the extra £2,000 that the Labour Party allegedly want to increase people's taxes by. He wants to focus on that message. But, you know, I think journalists at this stage are no longer going along with the Tory message. They're pushing back. They're going, look, you're, you're not going to be in power anymore. We're not going to damage our careers by challenging you. There's, a new, there's going to be a new government. So we can be, we can take off the gloves somewhat. And it's great to see these people are finally getting challenged. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.